Have you ever wondered what the actual calculation is for cost of goods sold for your restaurant? It may be one of the most important calculations you're ever going to do in your business. I'm going to tell you what it is in just one second. Hello, this is Dave Scott Peters with TheRestaurantExpert.com and I got to tell you, knowing your cost of goods sold could be one of the most important things you're going to measure in your business. And to measure it, you have to have the right equation and the right information. So how do we do this? Well, it starts off with knowing your beginning inventory. Beginning inventory is what was on the shelves the last time you counted. Well, that means we have to be taking inventory minimum on a monthly basis, preferably on a weekly basis, to know the value of everything on the shelves. That includes all of our batch items, meaning desserts, side dishes, soups, anything that I manufacture myself. For instance, if I have a tenderloin, I cut it up into fillets, that isn't in transit and gone, that would make my food costs higher. I need to have a value for each one of those fillets that I can count it. So I have a beginning inventory of all the products that I have on there. By the way, paper supplies aren't a part of it, janitorial is not a part of it, smallware is not a part of it, only the food or only the liquor, bottle beer, draft beer, wine, we're going to do cost of goods sold by category. In this case, for cost of goods sold, let's just say food, all the food that was on the shelves last period. Well, I'm going to add to that all of my purchases. Any time a vendor comes in and drops off any product, whether paid for or not, it is an expense that period. We're on something kind of cruel accounting system, earn OUs, means when the sale comes in, whether I collect the money, it's a sale based on the IRS rules, whether I pay for a product that I bring in, doesn't matter, it's an expense, and then use. It's an adjustment in inventory. If I used more than I purchased, I take it from inventory, increase my cost of goods sold. If I didn't order so, I ordered too much and I take it out of expense, put it on the shelf, it reduces my cost of goods sold. So earn OUs. Beginning inventory plus purchases, whether paid for or not, gives me a total how much money I have on my shelves that I could sell. That also means that if I had, say, I had $5,000 on the shelves when I opened my restaurant, brought a delivery in of $10,000, closed the restaurant, didn't open till the last day of the period, called the 31st, well, I'd have $15,000 I could sell. Beginning inventory plus purchases gives me total available. Then at the end of the period, by the end of that Sunday or last day of the month, again, I'd rather it be a Sunday, we count what's on the shelves for full value. Beginning inventory plus purchases, total available, minus ending inventory gives me use. That is my cost of goods sold. Now, how do we use product? Number one, we hope we sell it, but it could be stolen, wasted, spoiled, and it could be you've decided to take it home with you. Meaning as an owner, you took tax advantage of your business, had a barbecue this weekend, took some ribs, some burgers, some Jack Daniels, a keg of beer. Well, that's gonna drive your manager's cost of goods sold up. I'm not telling you not to do that, but make sure it goes on a waste sheet that when you tell them their food cost is high, they say, no, no, I'm in line, you took some product. But see, the equation beginning inventory plus purchases minus end gives me use. Use is blind. It has no idea where it went. So we need other systems. Now we take our total product used divided by the sales for that same period. We come up with our food cost, poor cost percentage, our cost of goods sold percentage. So if I come up with a 30% food cost, that means for every dollar in food sales that came in, I use 30 cents in product to bring that dollar in. That's your cost of goods sold. It's an incredibly vital part of your business, a piece of information you must know to control your bottom line. Hey, if you want to learn more about food costs, do me a favor in the comment section below, tell me what topics you want me to cover. And if you like this video, click on the little like symbol, help a guy out. You might also want to subscribe now where I will send you messages from YouTube that tell you immediately that these are up and ready for you on a weekly basis. Now, before you take off, you might take your mouse, hover it over this video, and a little white eye pops up in that corner. Got a special offer for you. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to view this tip. And if you hang out for two more seconds at the end of this video, I got a couple more videos you just might like.